Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. Yo, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. In today's Far Cry 5 video, I'm going to show you not one, but four easy ways to take down John Seed. John Seed is Joseph's lieutenant in Holland Valley. Once you max out the resistance levels in Holland Valley, you get the showdown mission called The Atonement. This is a multi-part mission that ultimately involves a difficult aerial dogfight scenario in which you're required to shoot down John Seed's plane. Now, everybody and their monkey's uncle, including myself, thinks this fight is ridiculously difficult, largely because the plane's controls, well, in a word, suck. <laughs> Actually, the plane's controls are great for flying. I, I really like flying in this game, but they're terrible for dogfighting. Trying to target John's plane is next to impossible, let alone do enough damage to bring his plane down. How do you solve this problem? Well, after some very extensive field testing, I've come up with four easy solutions, each with its pros and cons. Now, this is YouTube, so I'm sure some of you are in a huge hurry, so let's quickly run through all these solutions right now, and then we'll cover each one in more detail later on. Alright, to easily shoot down John's plane, you can. 1. Hire Nick Rye, and he will use his own plane to shoot down John for you. 2. Hire Herc, and he will shoot down John with his heat-seeking rocket launcher. 3. Buy an attack chopper and use that to shoot down John. 4. Buy the RAT-4 heat-seeking rocket launcher with the lock-on target attachment and use that to shoot down John. Now, if that was enough to solve your problem and you're bailing out of this video right now to run off and kill John once for all and get rid of that bugger, would you please, before you go, please leave a like and better yet, subscribe to my channel so you can get more helpful Far Cry 5 videos like this delivered directly to your inbox, alright? Thanks. Very much appreciated. Now, everybody else who's still here, thanks for going the distance. Let's discuss each of these four methods of taking down John in more detail. First of all, there are three things you should be aware of with the Atonement mission. Number one, you don't have to shoot down John's plane while you're in the plane. All right. Number two, you don't have to shoot down John yourself when your guns for hire can do it for you. And number three, bailing out of your plane does not fail the mission. Okay, you can bail out anytime you like. Now, keeping that all in mind, let's talk about the two guns for hire strategies, starting with Nick Rye. First of all, how do you get Nick? Go to uh, the south end of Holland Valley and find the location called Ryan Sons Aviation, and you'll hear this distress call. Go there, clear out the, uh, the bad guys that are there, talk to Nick, and Nick is going to give you this mission to rescue his plane from the Seed Ranch. Once you bring the plane back from the sea ranch. You're going to have to fly through a whole bunch of hoops. Uh, Nick will become your gun for hire and you can use him anytime. So here in this mission, the atonement, as soon as you get in the plane, you can start using guns for hire. Not before. You have to actually get in the plane. Once you're in the plane, they kind of even give you a hint to use Nick. Okay, and go to your specialist screen and hire Nick assign him to a squad slot and he will take to the air and fight John with you. Now there's no way to assign John as a priority target but he's the only target in the air so um, the first time I did this okay the first time I, I played against John Seed I tried to shoot him down myself failed miserably couldn't even target him and then he decided to try to hire Nick and um, I didn't even target John. Nick just went right after John and shot him down in a New York minute. It took like 30 seconds. He was done. And you'll know when he's shooting at, watch this, <laughs> actually bumped into John. <laughs> Both of us survived. <laughs> it's insane. Eh? And you'll know when Nick is shooting at, hear that? You hear that kind of like gun buzzing sound? Ah. That's when you know Nick is actually shooting at John. So when he starts doing that, you, you pretty much got a homemade. But this, okay, is by no means a slam dunk. It's by no means a slam dunk. Like I said, the first time I tried this, it worked beautifully. And then I thought, okay, that's it. Everybody can go home. This is the strategy to take down John. Then, as, you know, in Major Slack style, I ran it through its paces and, and tried it like a dozen more times to see if it was really a slam dunk. See, you hear that? See, there you go. You see clearly that Nick is shooting at John. And I would say the success rate with Nick is about... 50% that's all 
In fact, this is one of the, the least reliable strategies, I think. Yeah, it's only about 50%. 50% of the time, he'll shoot down John. 25% uh, of the time, John will shoot you down before Nick can even take a shot. And the other 25% of the time, John will shoot down Nick. So, it, like I said, it's by no means a slam dunk, but you should definitely try it. Because it's like, it's a good way to finish the fight, like, right quick, without, you know, having to lift a finger. And he's right there, he's available. Give it a shot. Um, if it doesn't work, you can move on to another strategy. And like I said, there's no way to set him as a priority target in the air. If you want to set him as a priority target, you're going to have to bail out of your plane and aim at John with your gun while you're parachuting down. And then you can press the Nick button and set John as a priority target. But I don't think it's even necessary because he's the only target in the sky. And the first time I did this, I didn't even have to set John as a priority target. Nick just went right after him and shot him down all on his own. So, I don't even think that's necessary. So there we go. Nick has shot John down. Very satisfying win. And it's just a matter of parachuting to the ground. You can even dismiss Nick and then hire Boomer and have Boomer go over and, you know, try to take him down. Here's pretty funny. A bear finally took down John. That was so satisfying. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to Herc. Herc can be found up in the northeast part of the map uh, in Jacob's region at a place called Fort Drubman. Go there, talk to Herc's father, Herc's, Herc Sr. I believe he's called, and he'll give you a mission to bring back his truck. And you have to, it's basically a, a buddy mission with his son, Herc Jr. Okay, Jacob's, Jacob's region, Fort Drubman. Talk to Herc Sr., Herc Drubman Sr. He'll tell you, hook up with his son who's right there, and you go with his son and bring back his truck. Once you bring back his truck, um, Herc Jr. will be a gun for hire and his specialty is a rocket launcher a heat-seeking rocket launcher which is great it's just perfect for this um, once again once you start the mission the atonement you get to the part where you get have to get into the plane you, ha you can't hire any guns for hire until you actually get in the plane once you get in the plane don't take off okay just wait there go there hire Herc and just wait there on the tarmac or on the uh, the airstrip and wait for Herc to come and get in the plane behind you. Okay, just wait here. This is no rush. You can wait for Herc to arrive. Yeah, I know Mary May there is out there um, on the ground. <laughs> here comes Herc. He gets in the plane behind you and then you can take off and go after John. Now Herc can't target um, John while you're in the plane. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get close to John and then you're going to bail out and parachute down. And as soon as you do that, Herc will do the same thing. At that point, you can set John as a priority target and Herc will start shooting down John while he's in the air, while he's parachuting down. Okay, so that's the idea. As soon as uh, John starts doing his little speech, his little monologue, I'm going to get you, da 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 da, um, that's the key or the cue to bail out. And usually I like to go really high, like go as high as you can so that as you're parachuting down, you're kind of like parachuting down past John, so you have a good shot at him, okay, good, good shot at him. So we bailed out, and now we can set enemies as priority targets by simply aiming at them and pressing the buddy button, whatever that is for you, whatever Herc's button is. So swing it on around, as soon as we get a line of fire on John, we'll aim at him, press Herc's button. And boom, now he's a priority target. And Herc will start shooting at John. And it's just a matter of waiting it out. This isn't a slam dunk either, but it's it's more reliable than the Nick strategy. I would say Herc's success rate is about 75%. But it's not a slam dunk. Sometimes he fails. And you absolutely have to target him while you're parachuting down, while you're in the air. If you wait till you're on the ground and you try to target um, John, uh, Herc will say, I can't do that. Or he'll, he'll complain that it can't be done and he won't do anything. So you gotta be in the air, parachuting down and targeting John like that. Okay, so he's still a priority target.
Here I just activated my wingsuit because I was afraid the jump's going to run into me. Then pulled my parachute again. I hear that little bat, 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 the sound. That could be John's plane sending out some kind of like emergency distress signal. Beep, 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 beep. Or it could have something to do with the rocket launch because I only hear this when um, rocket launchers are in play. Um, but it's a good sign. <laughs> He's doing it again. Bam, got him. And that's it. Kirk shoots him down. And it's that easy. But like I said, it's not a slam dunk. Sometimes Herc fails, but I think it's more reliable than Nick. Now you can just dismiss Herc and maybe set uh, Adelaide or Boomer as a gun for hire and go up and finish John off like that. I think it's really satisfying to set Adelaide as a, a finisher, a John finisher, because she comes in the sky and just guns the crap out of him as he's trying to run away. Very satisfying. So we targeted John. Adelaide comes down with her attack chopper. Even if he gets in a vehicle and tries to to take off. This is perfect, you see, because he, he often does this and makes you run all over the countryside. So it's a good idea to do this. Adelaide the chopper queen can be had as a gun for hire by going to the very north tip of Faith's region and finding the Drubman Marina, okay, and um, liberate the Drubman Marina, then find Adelaide and do a mission for her called Friendly Skies. Once you complete that mission, she'll become your uh, gun for hire anytime you like. All right, let's move on to the two strategies that require you to actually spend money. Oh no, I don't want to spend money. Yeah, well, if you want to get the job done quick and easy, you may have to bite the bullet and cough up a few bucks. Let's start with the attack chopper strategy. Unlike the Rat 4 rocket launcher strategy, this requires no preparation, so it's probably preferable to the two. Here we are at the uh, the plane part of the atonement, atonement mission. All you need for this strategy is 7,200 bucks. Take to the skies after John. If you know you're going to do this strategy, don't bother hiring Nick or Herc. Just go after John and wait till he starts his little rant. Take a few pot shots at him just for, you know, just to bug him. There we go, he started his rant. Veer off to the right and find the little helicopter shop southeast of US Auto. Okay, there's the helicopter shop. There is US Auto right there. Put a waypoint there and fly there as fast as you can. If John starts laying down too much heat, just bail out and parachute or wingsuit the rest of the way. But try to fly there as as far as like as far as you can. Try to go as far as you can in the plane. Now typically John will chase you. And he'll be in the vicinity once you get to the helicopter shop. Once you get near. Bail out and run the rest of the way to the helicopter shop. John should be in the skies overhead, kind of like flying around in a, in a rage, waiting for you to get back to the fight. Here we are at the helicopter shop and buy yourself one of these babies right here the combat r31 air buzzer that's my favorite 7200 bucks very heavily armed chopper get in take to the skies and this is a lot easier to maneuver and target john than it is with the plane just go straight up wait for john to come at you and let him have it with everything it's got both machine guns and um rocket launchers so hit him with both. And you just take him down so fast. There you go. This is by far the most reliable strategy. And the fastest. But it will cost you 7,000 bucks like I said. And that's it. <laughs> He's already done. He's already parachuting down. 
and here I managed to gun John down, or rather complete the mission before he even touched down. Parachuted around, swung it around, gunned him down with my M60. And that's it, mission complete. <laughs> yeah, by far the easiest and most reliable strategy. No preparation, you just need the money. So that, that's a no-brainer. There we go. John is down and out. Ha ha. And finally, the RAT4 rocket launcher strategy. This will require some preparation because the RAT4 is locked by default. The way you unlock it is by gaining four levels of resistance in total from any of the three re regions, okay? So you unlock uh, three levels by completing John's region, then you're going to have to go to another region and complete one more level of resistance in either Faith's region or Jacob's region. Once you've done that, um, you can buy the Rat for a rocket launcher, which is a kick-ass weapon. And um, it's much more versatile than the um, the chopper, the attack chopper that we just bought. And it's a little cheaper for the whole deal. Buy the Rat 4, okay? And also make sure that you buy the upgrade, the lock-on upgrade. This will cost you a total of $4,575, a little cheaper than the, the chopper. But like I said, it gives you a weapon that you can carry around on the ground and is reasonably um, more versatile than the chopper. All right. Once you've done that, um, make sure you do this before you take on the mission. Okay. Make sure you do this before you take on the atonement mission. And then when you get to the part where um, you get in the plane, get airborne, wait for John to do his little rant. Okay, we're chasing John, waiting for him to do his little rant. Rat for a rocket launcher on board. He does his rant. At this point, um, I like to go really high. I'm just taking a few pot shots at him because, like, you know, just to you know, tick him off. <laughs> Make sure he's like, he knows we're there. Usually I go really high, but it doesn't really matter. Then bail out. Okay, bail out. Deploy your parachute and your rocket launcher. Aim at John, and when it turns green, wait for it to turn green, you've locked on. Okay, it'll flash red three times to make a funny sound. When it turns green, press the fire button and you fired a heat-seeking missile that can't miss. Here I shot it prematurely, but it hit him anyways. <laughs> yeah, but um, aim. It flashes red when you've got him scoped. Wait till it turns green. When it turns green, press the fire button, and you fired a heat-seeking missile that cannot miss. And he's done. That's it. Very reliable strategy. Very satisfying. Will cost you forty-five hundred dollars, but uh, like I said, you get the uh, the rocket launcher. And once again, I completed the mission before he even hit the ground. So this is a slam dunk. Like the chopper strategy is a slam dunk. So there you go, four easy ways to take down John C. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, please give your slackster a big old thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to make sure you get all my videos hot off the press. Coming up next, I'm going to continue the walkthrough, um, and I'm going to show you how to get all these resources, a very detailed walkthrough of how to get all these resources together. And then we're going to take on John Seed and whack him. Okay, so the real walkthrough will continue. Um, for those of you who have been following that religiously, it will continue. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.